Phone conversations. I'm Gayatri. I'm a part of Abbott's public affairs team. Welcome to the next chapter dialogue on menopause, where we will cover all things from stories to support. Menopause is a natural stage in a woman's life. A recent survey done by Ipsos in collaboration with Abbott highlighted that 91% of the partners surveyed felt that more women need to talk about their menopause. So I'm a bit conscious for the few seconds of that play. So anyway, now that we're done with it, uh, generally women are reluctant to talk about women's health. In fact, as, as Gayatri mentioned, recently we did a survey with Zipsoft, which said, um, uh, you know, concerns across conditions, whether it is um, not having uh, kids, or menopause, or menstrual disorders, or anything in uh, everything to do with women's health. More importantly, menopause. You know, somebody, the, uh, somebody just some time back was asking me, why are we focusing on menopause? Does Abbott has a huge blockbuster molecule? No. Menopause is not for commercial reasons. If anybody is a doctor, which means whenever they have any concerns around menopause, they choose to silently suffer. And that is what is not acceptable. That is what we want to change. That's where the next chapter. Um, last year, if you folks um, remember, we launched the next chapter. Coming to the next chapter, I would like to say today is the next chapter of the next chapter, or next chapter 2.0. Last year, we had released a book which encouraged I will not divulge too many details, that's for Gayatri and the rest of the team to do, but I will just sign off by saying menopause and the next chapter event and facilitating conversation around menopause is exciting. Thank you, God bless, look forward to a great event. Great event, sorry, not even. Very powerful dialogue on menopause which fuels more conversations. On that note, without further ado, uh, we have a special guest amongst us today and I would like to invite her here. But before we do that, uh, I just want to give a very small formal introduction, though she needs no introduction, we have Lala Bhatt. You will always be the center of attraction, so. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning. I think we're still in the morning hours. It hasn't turned noon yet. So I'm absolutely thrilled to be here for two primary reasons. As Vivek ji said, we launched this wonderful book last year and I was present for the launch event. And this book was the first step to educate, to inform, to empower women to come forward, to share stories, to normalize conversations, to let women know that they were not alone. And today, as Vivek ji said, it's the next chapter for the next chapter. And it gives me so much optimism to see a company like Abbott build forward on what they've done with just launching the book. And today we're doing this amazing unveiling of this wonderful thing that we will tell you about later that will actually progress and take the conversations that have happened in this book, take it forward to the next step and start normalizing conversations around menopause. So that's the first reason why I'm so thrilled to be here. The second reason is the last time I mentioned this and I was extremely delighted to see the three or four men that were in the audience the last time. So I can't tell you how happy it makes me to see men represented in much larger numbers this time around. Because to be really honest, yes, this conversation is about something that women go through, but this entire event is really actually for the men. So all the men that are here, members of the media, all of them, thank you for being here. And we really hope that all of you who are present here today will take the information, the message that is shared today forward and outside of here into your communities, into your homes, into your families, because that's really what we need today. So to start off things, if I might, I actually want to go back to this book. I've read it a couple of times myself. Um, and I want to read a little excerpt from it. Not long, just a paragraph, but I want to read that for you. So this is a piece written by Alexandrina, who's 51 years old, from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. And she says, 
men should be sensitive and supportive toward women going through menopause. Sadly, that's not always the case, particularly in my household. My husband, for example, thinks it's funny when I start to sweat. Usually, when we're watching TV, I'll throw off the blanket and begin to fan myself frantically. And he'll howl with laughter, like he's enjoying every moment. So right here, let's begin this conversation. <laughs> So if I might, since I have commented on the men that are present here today, if you don't mind, not to put you on the hot seat or under the spotlight, but I'd like to ask the men that are present here um, just one or two questions to begin. Can Absolutely, I? yes. Okay, super. So let's, okay, let's, let's start with the gentleman with the lovely salt and pepper hair. He, looked like, he looks like he may have had some life experience, so we'll ask him to start. I think he's wondering why is he sitting <laughs> at the front. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Can I ask just very basically, have you ever been aware of any woman in your life who has undergone or is undergoing, uh, always going through menopause? Yes, first of all, thank you for asking me the question. And uh, uh, I happened to be at the event that happened last year when we launched the book. Yes. Uh, and uh, that helped me. I have a mother who's almost 58 now. And uh, I was so uh, ignorant towards what she might have gone through. Uh, and it kind of enlightened me uh, on terms of the symptoms that women go through. Yeah. And I happened to go back and have a conversation with her. Uh, so that was a very sensitive moment. It was enlightening at the same yes. time. Uh, it helps you bond because yeah. you are more aware of things that women go through and uh, it helps you, it equips you to kind of deal with that kind of an experience. Yeah. So I think it's a wonderful initiative and I'm glad that we are spreading awareness about this. That's amazing. Can I ask, just to build on that, as a son, is it a difficult conversation to start with your mother? Did you find that it was something that she didn't want to discuss or come out with? Or was it something that she was actually waiting for you to possibly approach her and ask? I could, uh, honestly, I could sense a bit of apprehension uh, because uh, like we have been discussing and it was mentioned even uh, during the book launch last time that a lot of women are apprehensive to come out and uh, discuss the symptoms or uh, the excerpt that you read in the yes. book. That was a bit of a humorous take on it. But uh, let's be honest, it's not funny, uh, yeah. the kind of things that they go through. and. The kind of initiative helps people raise awareness and makes them sensitive towards this matter. So the husband was actually howling. Had he been aware, uh, he would have been more considerate and caring towards that. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's a great initiative. Yeah, but you know, I just want to tell men present over here that it's not uncommon that women don't talk about this to their families. And in fact, I think there was a study done by Abbott and Ipsos itself that said that 66% of women across the world don't want to talk to their family members about them going through menopause because they don't want to worry them. They don't want the family members to worry about their health concerns. So I think for the longest time, unfortunately, as women, it's been ingrained into us to constantly put our families first so that you know we don't cause them any concern about how we're suffering or what our health concerns might be, that that kind of shuts us down. But thank you so much for sharing. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, to pick somebody else. Everybody's sweating under their collars a little bit. Ki mujhse mat pucho, mujhse mat pucho. <laughs> Let me ask the gentleman who's laughing now about it. Chalo, your turn. <laughs> All right, yeah. Has any woman, family member, partner, colleague ever spoken to you about symptoms that they may have been experiencing during menopause? You know, Lara, um, I, like most men, was blissfully unaware of the fact that menopause could have such significant impact on a woman's life or in, in a woman's life, right? Until my aunt, uh, she's my mom's younger sister, she walked up to me, and this is after she watched Bombay Begums, yeah. okay? Um, and then she said, you know what? I've been sweating all the time. Uh, the fan's on, I switch on the AC, and I'm sweating. Uh, and everybody in the family is confused as to why am I sweating. They're saying, open the windows, get out into the open, etc., etc. So 
I then went ahead and read up a little more about what this condition is all about and realized that it's just not a natural occurrence, but it's much beyond. And there are a significant percentage of women who actually experience severe symptoms. Yeah. And that could just be beyond sweats. And there's plenty more, including depression and so on and so forth. So I went ahead and not just spent time with her, explaining her about what could be the potential consequences. But also my uncle is pretty much uh, like the gentleman in that story of Alexandria, right? So this man is, is fairly, um, let's say, not very sensitive. And therefore, I had to sit him down and also kind of walk him through what could be the potential consequences for the family. And ultimately, I could uh, put both of them together and make sure that they actually saw a doctor. So pretty fascinating. I think uh, Bombay Begums is, is, is a great example because yeah. uh, the protagonists, uh, the female protagonists in, in, in that series have very openly spoken about uh, menopause and the potential yeah. uh, impact that it could have in, in women's lives. So sure. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it amazing that today, at least in mainstream media, through our entertainment, A, we've got an amazing array of actresses now that are over the age of 30, 35, who are still, you know, headlining amazing content. And I think for me, that's one of the main reasons for my presence here today. I mean, I'm 45 years old, and I don't want to be approaching this chapter of my life with fear. You know, I don't want to be approaching it in ignorance. So I think the idea for me, apart from the fact that I come from a family of very strong women and largely women, so, you know, the experience is already there. But I think for me, it's about not just empowering myself, but as an artist, as an actor, to be able to empower other women. And I think that that's the need of the art, even within the entertainment industry. You know, but I just want people to know that most often, you know, we're talking about hot flashes, we're talking about things like this with menopause, but there are over 40 symptoms that women can face when they're going through undergoing menopause. And I'm sure we have a wonderful panel of doctors over here, very esteemed, very senior doctors who will talk about that more in detail. But it's important to understand that we can't just limit it to one or two or three symptoms and say, okay, I understand that, but I choose not to understand the rest of it. And um, yeah, I think on that note, maybe we'll open up this entire conversation. Absolutely, and thank you for setting the context so well, and thank you to the two gentlemen here in the yes, audience today great, for great sharing man. their personal thank experiences. <laughs> um, and what a way to kickstart the panel discussion. We will begin with our panel discussion now, and for that, uh, please join me in welcoming our key experts, as Lara mentioned. Uh, our first panelist for today is Dr. Nozer Sheryar. He's consultant, obstetrician, and gynecologist at the PD Hinduja Breach Candy and Holy Family Hospital, and former Secretary General of the Federation of Obstetric and Gynecological Societies of India, FOXI. He has also co authored a book on perimenopause called Finding Your Balance. Dr. Nozer, lovely having you here today. Thank you. Our next expert on the panel is Dr. Suchitra Pandit. She's consultant, obstetrician, and gynecologist at the Surya Group of Hospitals in Mumbai. She's also been a former president of FOXI. Dr. Suchitra, thank you for joining us. And our last panelist for today is Dr. Rohita Shetty, head of medical affairs at Abbott in India. Thank you, Dr. Rohita. Now, interestingly, if most of you remember, last year we were also joined by Shelly Chopra. She's the founder of She the People. She's also an author and an entrepreneur who Hi. moderated our last year's panel discussion. And we have her here today as well. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you for joining us again today. Thanks for having me back. Good afternoon. Hello. Okay, we're past noon. Could we hear? whether you guys are in the house. Oh, no way. I can still see more flashes than sounds. Let's give this another shot. Are you here with us? Yes. We're having a very important conversation. We need you invested in this. Well, fabulous to be back and um, discussing really the most um, relevant topic of our times. Uh, and I feel that we need to do this more often. So maybe Gayatri, we should make this a monthly conversation. <laughs> uh, it's so much needed. 
but I was just thinking, uh, it's possibly useful, even though we talk a lot about um, menopause,